I'm back. I'm going to try and do it again. I'm sorry the connection went down. Um, I had one person comment, but I didn't see it until later. So if it goes down again, maybe try and send me a message on um, Messenger because I have my phone right here. So that might help me get it a little bit quicker. I'm sorry. All right. So let's try it again. All right. So I don't know how far we got. So I'm just going to start the whole thing over. So I'm going to be working on the passage, Jackfruit, okay? Um, and it is a nonfiction passage, so it's going to tell us real, true facts about jackfruit, okay? And I didn't know what a jackfruit was, so I was really glad that we had this passage. And I'm going to show you a picture of a jackfruit before we even get started, because you can see... Jackfruit in the picture, but it's black and white. It's kind of hard to see. So here is a picture of the jackfruit. Okay, it kind of looks green, yellow, look kind of big. Grows on trees. Here's some more. Okay, so we haven't seen any of those around here, have we? Okay, so there's you, a jackfruit that you can have in your brain thinking about it as we read through our passage, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start reading. Have you ever seen a jackfruit? And I haven't, so. A jackfruit is a kind of fruit. It grows on trees. The fruit skin is covered in bumps, and you can kind of see that um, in the picture that's with the text and with like the one I showed you. I feel like that would be really cool to go feel it. I bet it would feel really cool. The fruit skin is covered in bumps. When it is young, the skin is green. When it gets older, the fruit gets ripe. Then the skin turns yellow. So let's talk about that. When it's young, the skin is green. And then when it gets older, so as it grows, the fruit gets ripe. And that word ripe, think about what that word ripe might mean. Um, usually we don't like to pick things or eat things until they are ripe. Um, so that's whenever it's ready to be picked, it's ready to be eaten. So when it gets older, the fruit gets ripe, then the skin turns yellow. So at first it's green, and then it will turn yellow. Does that remind you of any other fruit that you can think of? Kind of reminds me of a banana, how they're, they're green, and then whenever they're ripe, they turn yellow. The jackfruit is very large. They can grow to be two feet long. So if you're thinking about how long two feet is, I'm looking at my leg. My leg might be a little bit longer than two feet, not by much. So they're pretty long. And just one of these fruits can weigh up to 40 pounds. And I had found a video, or no, a picture in the last one that showed the jackfruit, yeah, with this woman. You can kind of see it with the woman. And you can see how big it is, right? It's sitting on her lap. It's long and it's big. And I talked about 40 pounds. That might be the size of like a, um, like a medium-sized dog, maybe. Okay, so we know what it looks like on the outside. It has bumps, it's green, and then it turns yellow. Um, it's large, it can be two feet long, it can weigh up to 40 pounds. This fruit grows in Africa and Asia. So we live in North America, that's our continent, North America. And a jackfruit lives in Africa and Asia. So... I took a picture of our world map with our continents. So you could kind of see our continents. Let me get a little closer. There we go. Okay. So we are the one that's blue right there. Okay, that's North America. And then the jackfruit, they are going to live in Africa. So that's the orange one. And Asia, the purple one. Okay, let me get my finger right. Okay, so there's Africa. 
and then that big purple one, Asia. Okay, so that's where the jackfruit lives. So we don't have them around here. So this fruit grows in Africa and Asia. It can grow in other places too. All the places where it grows have hot, wet weather. The jackfruit needs hot, wet weather to grow. So that may be one of the reasons why um, that we don't have them around here is because they need a certain kind of climate, a certain kind of place to live. It needs to be hot. It needs to be wet. So when we're thinking about wet, it means that there needs to be like a lot of rain. Okay? All right. So we read our passage about our jackfruit. We are going to do a quick little um, um, tree map that's going to go over our main idea and some of those details that we learned about a jackfruit. Let me slide it over a bit. There we go. All right. So up at the top, we're going to put our main idea. So our main idea is what the whole text um, is mostly about. So if I asked you what the whole text is mostly about, um, then I hope you would say a jackfruit, right? And that was even our title. That was even our title for our passage. So up at the top, I'm going to write jackfruit. Okay. And then underneath, I'm going to write some of those details that we learned about jackfruit before we even take a look at the questions. The more that we talk and understand those details and remember them, it might help us answer our questions, okay? All right. So, hey, now, maybe this will help me in the future because I'm teaching and I have it pulled up on my phone so maybe I can see if it cuts out. <laughs> Sorry technology difficulties. All right, so let's go back in our text and let's talk about some of those details about jackfruit. We know it is a fruit, right? And then that paragraph, um, oh, it told us um, where it grows, you know, because fruits, they can grow, um, they might grow on bushes, they can grow on trees, you know, different vegetables and stuff might grow um, up out of the ground or even in the ground. So this fruit grows on trees and we saw that in some of those pictures okay and then it told us more about what it looked like the fruit's skin is covered in bumps so it's bumpy and then it told us some of the colors right do you remember what color it started with it started as green right so it started as green and then they use that word ripe. So remember, ripe is whenever it's ready to be picked, ready to be eaten. It's ready. Okay. So then when it's ripe, it turns yellow. And it made Miss Autry think of a banana, right? Because a banana, they start out green. And then whenever they get um, ripe, they turn yellow. Okay. Ooh, hey, I have another. You know, we did compare it. I have another thought for you. Okay, we did comparing and contrasting last week when I was on here. So, and I said the jackfruit reminded me, so we were making some connections of a banana. And we just talked about how a jackfruit and banana are similar, right? How they're the same. They both start out as green. And then they, when they're ripe, they turn yellow. Okay, I want you to tell me a difference between a jackfruit, and a banana. So somebody get on there, have your mama, grandma, somebody comment on there and tell me your difference. And I'll add you to my list of kiddos that will be getting a prize when we get back to school. Okay, right now I have Reagan and Kinsley. They got my, my little trivia question from last time. So I'll add another one. So your trivia question is tell me a difference. Hey Braxton! Tell me a difference between a jackfruit and a banana. We just talked about how they're the same. They both start as green, and then they, when they're ripe, they turn yellow. Okay? Tell me a difference, and I will tell you, um, and, oh, and they're, they're both on trees, right? Um, tell me a difference. I will tell you, it's already something that's on my board, a way that a jackfruit and a banana are different. All right, I'm going to keep going. So, then we, oh, we talked about the size of it, right? That it is large. And they gave us some specific details about it being large. Oh, okay, I looked like I was frozen. 
Um, so it can be two feet long, okay? And it can weigh up to 40 pounds, 40 pounds. So like I said, that might be the size of about like a medium dog. I'm trying to think of anything else that's 40 pounds. Can't really think of anything. So that's pretty heavy. Um, we talked about where it grows. It doesn't grow around here. It grows on the continents of Africa. Hey, Gavin and Grayson. I love doing little shout outs. I like it when you tell me that you're here. Yay. Um, it grows in Africa. Africa and Asia. Showed you that on the map. Okay, so it's all the way across the ocean from us. And then the reason that it grows in those places is because it has to have a special type of weather, a special type of climate. It needs to be, there's two things. It needs to be, it needs to be hot and it needs to be wet. Okay, so I'll add another little trick. It needs to be hot and it needs to be wet. Okay, so here are some of our details that we learned about our jackfruit. Okay. Nobody's commented the difference yet. Let me see if anybody will do it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start looking at our questions. If you've already done the questions, you can be checking them off um, as we kind of go through them. Um, if you haven't done the questions, then you can be answering them as we go through them. I'll go through them kind of quick. Where does jackfruit grow? Oh, that was something we even put on our little graphic organizer, our tree map, right? It grows in Africa and Asia, the North Pole. <laughs> that was a funny answer choice, right? How does this text describe the skin, so the outside of the fruit, on a young jackfruit? And this all tree, um, in my other video, you couldn't really see it, but I highlighted oops, that word young, okay? You could highlight it, circle it, underline it, because it's, remember, whenever they were telling us about the outside of the jackfruit, um, especially the colors, right, they told us two different things. So we need to focus on when it is young. Okay, and I'm going to go right back in the text and find it. When it is young, the skin is green. So smooth and yellow? Nope. Bumpy and green? And we already know that it's bumpy, right? Good job. Read this sentence from the text. The jackfruit needs hot, wet weather to grow. So what does this tell us about places where jackfruit grow? Jackfruit grows in places that are hot and dry. No, because it doesn't need to be dry, right? It needs to be wet. Jackfruit grows in places that are sunny. Sunny's good, but just because there's some sunshine doesn't mean that it's going to be hot, right? Um, so that one's kind of... Mm. Jackfruit grows in places that are rainy. It definitely needs to be rainy, okay? Our next question, what is the te this text mostly about? So that's that main idea question. What's it all about? Right, That should be an easy one. It's all about the jackfruit. How much can just one jackfruit weigh? That was one of our details up here too, right? 40 pounds. What did you learn from jackfruit? So that could be where you maybe write a sentence or two. I learned a jackfruit um, grows on trees. Or I learned a jackfruit um, when it's young, it's green. And then when it's ripe, it turns yellow. Or you could tell them about its size. I learned a jackfruit um, is large and can grow two feet long. Okay. Um, discuss how jackfruit changes as it grows, okay? And we kind of talked about that, right? It's going to start out green, and then it's going to turn yellow, and it's also going to grow in its size, right? It's going to start out probably small, and then it can grow up to two feet long, then up to 40 pounds heavy, right? 40 pounds for its weight. Use information from the text in your answer, and if you're telling me those things, you're using information from the text in your answer. Um, and then number eight, draw a picture of a jackfruit, okay? Um, so my challenge for y'all is to draw me a picture of a jackfruit, 
And then underneath it, maybe tell me some of the things that you learned about a jackfruit. And then you can have somebody take a picture of it and put it in our comments so we can see y'all kind of interact with our passage. So draw me a picture. That's number eight. And then you can write and tell me what you learned about jackfruit. And that was number six. Okay. I still don't have anybody that I can see that answered my trivia question. So I'm going to be waiting. It can be after my live video is done. Somebody can comment on there. So I'll tell you my trivia question one more time. Okay. So Ms. Autry was making connections, right? Because I've never seen a jackfruit. But really for me, this is the first time I've learned about a jackfruit. And it might be the same thing for y'all. But a jackfruit, there was parts of the, the details that made me think of another fruit, banana, right? And we know bananas, right? We have bananas. We eat bananas all the time. And last week, we did some comparing and contrast and talk about how two things might be the same or how they might be different. So my challenge to you was, we talked about how they were the same, right? Miss Autry said a jackfruit and a banana, they both start out green, and then whenever they're ripe, they both turn yellow. Your job is to tell me a difference between a jackfruit and a banana. Okay, and I will tell you there's some things on the board that could be your difference. Okay, so first one on there to comment and tell me the difference. Tell me something about the banana. Tell me something about the jackfruit, how they're different. I will add you to my list, okay, um, that will get in my prize box when we get back to school. Okay, um, so I hope y'all have a fabulous day. Next, um, tomorrow, I'll be back on tomorrow at 10 o'clock, and I will do a fiction passage from this week, okay? So have a good rest of the day. Comment for my trivia question. Bye. Hopefully this one lasted the whole way through.